This episode of Film Ride is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Ride, big hands, fight sounds, and other such fun things. The show that takes a mystery out of the effects and techniques going to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley, and today is a good day. Our five pack is finally out, all 600 plus sounds of it, which is really closer to like 800 to 1,000 sounds. I'll talk about that in a second. Today, we're going to talk about two effects that we did for our fight pack promo. So, in case you missed that promo, here it is. to do a Green Lantern style fist thingy for a while now, so I took this as my chance to do it, and the launch back is a fun effect too, but again, the fight pack, it's out for you to buy and use and love, because I freaking guarantee you will. This is by far one of my favorite things that we have ever put together. In fact, let's take a look at it now. Inside the pack, we have a few folders. First, our in-packs designed. In here are the mixed and mastered, ready to be dragged and dropped right into your project sounds. And we have them broken out into these categories here so that you can find what you need quickly. But when you go into one, you see that there are a ton of styles and specific hits like regular punches, some for the back of the head, the chest, some gut punches, Hollywood style, which are some of my favorites, some light, some face slaps, and some slappy punches, which are those Indiana Jones style punches almost. Then we have a bunch of weapon sounds like hits from a two x four, baseball bat, crowbar, lead pipe, and table leg. And each one of these comes with a bunch of versions of that and gore selections too. So you can have it with just a hit or add some nastiness on there. And all of the sections are like that, plenty of options to choose from. But if we go back and then into impact elements, this is where we have all our raw sounds. One thing that we didn't have with our gun pack, which a lot of people asked for, was the raw sound. So here we have all the sounds we recorded for you to mix and match for some truly custom, unique sounds. Every one of these sounds has over 10 takes of that sound. So again, just a ridiculous amount to choose from. Then of course we have the gore sounds, which this is just a collection of nasty sounding things. Again, sort of the raw sounds for you to put together, mix and match however you want and our Wishes, which is the holy grail of sound folders for me. I use Wishes for everything, and there's never enough variety for me, so we added a ton of sounds for you to break out and use how you'd like. That way it doesn't sound like the same Wish sound over and over and over again. I use it for motion graphics, for action, of course. I just use it all over the place. I love them so much. But there's tons there to customize for your own style of Wish sound. The pack is up on our store now, tryinstore.com, and it's on sale for $180. Again, we're trying to keep that price as low as possible, to help out the indie filmmaking world, but we also want to hook you guys up, our loyal Film Riot family. So we created a coupon code for $30 off even that extremely low price for all our Film Riot viewers. So if you want the pack, use the coupon code FILMRIOT30 for the money savings. So jump over to our site right here and check that out. But now, let's get into some episode loving. So the first effect that I did was this guy right here which was sort of kind of inspired by the Green Lantern. First, we got our shot, Josh swinging an Eris and Eris reacting and running out of the frame. Then I grabbed three still images of Josh's fist, one frontal, one from the side, and one from behind, and then bring all of those into After Effects. In here, the first thing I will do is drop in the video of Josh punching Eris, duplicate it, then trim the top layer to the point that I want the effect to start. Then I'm gonna mask out his hand out to the point where he's swinging it towards Eris. 
You can see that here on, the motion blur gets pretty heavy and there really isn't anything else to mask. So this is where we're gonna bring in our pictures. Again, we mask out the fists of all three of these pictures, then place them starting with the frontal one first, have it hold until the arm is around here. Then we're gonna add the side fist for about two to three frames, then end with the one behind. Now we will pre-comp this, scale it to the size that we want, and then keyframe the position of this pre-comp layer to follow the rest of the punch. Now we move back to the first layer and scale that up. Then keyframe the position again to make it match, tweaking the mask where needed. Now we add motion blur and we have this, which is terrible, but we're gonna pre-comp all our fist stuff together. We're gonna add all the matrix to that layer. Which Hollow Matrix is a plugin that comes with Red Giant Universe, and if you don't know what that is, definitely check it out right here. It's all kinds of amazing, but I used Hollow Matrix and Glitch from their grouping of plugins for the promo that we showed you. Also, there is a free and a paid version of Universe, so even if you don't want to buy anything, you could still get some great plugins for free right here. Good stuff. So with Hollow Matrix on, I'll twirl open the effects. In preset, I'll switch to great reception green, then effect scale to 70, frame rate to the one that I shot at, which was 24. Then in the effects tab, I'll tweak the parameters until I have the look I want. Main thing here for me was to turn on lines and set speed to 80, line height to 31, speed to 180, and LD line height to 100. The rest you can tweak to taste. You can also just cycle through the list of presets at the top to find another style you dig. But after that, I change my layer to screen, make sure motion blur is turned on, switch any positioning around that needs to be, and then we have... Green Lantern Fist of Goodness. But now, some sponsor love, and we punch Eris in the mouth area. Domain.com is a place to go if you're trying to get yourself up on the internet, if you want people to see a thing that you have, like it's your business. That's good. Thank you. It's your work that you make, whatever the work is that you do. You need a website, and they got the hosting plans that are reliable and are reportable. What word did I just say? Affordable? They got the domain discovery service to help you pick the right name for you. And if you use the coupon code FILMRIGHT at checkout, you get 15% off your domain name and web hosting. When you think domain names, think domain.com. You know what sentence I don't get? What? What sentence? What's the price of tea in China? What's that matter? Why do they want to know that? Maybe, they go maybe they're they going, going to China. China and they really like tea and they want to make sure they well, have enough money. Most people say that when they're not going to China. I'm like, what do you want well, to do? Well, I'm not, I'm not going to judge their travel plans. I don't know. You don't know what they're traveling. You're not God. You don't know that. Logo. And we're back to this. I actually had a more complicated way that I was going to do this, but we ran out of time and we went with a more simplistic version, which worked pretty well, I thought. We will probably do the more complex version in a later episode, though. So again, here's what the shot looked like, Eris running off. The first thing that we're gonna do is get rid of Eris when he should be flying off. So we're gonna duplicate our bottom layer, then move it to the point where Eris is completely out of the frame. We're gonna trim this layer to start where we want Eris to start moving back. Then we're gonna mask around that area, keyframing our mask path to follow as needed with Josh, and we have our clean plate, which when we play, Eris just disappears. So we duplicate our bottom layer again, bring it above that clean layer that we just made, then add time remapping to this. I'm gonna use this to speed Eris's jump back up a bit. Then I'll find the frame where his jump starts to come down, go back one, and then hold the keyframe there so we create a still image. Now we're gonna start masking out Eris going frame by frame, keyframing him as he jumps back. We're only gonna need to do this for about four frames or so. And now we can start animating. I'll go to the first frame of this layer, hit the stopwatch for position, then go ahead five frames and move my actor all the way out of the frame. Then I'll go back to the first, hit the stopwatch for rotation, and go through these frames, adjusting the position and the rotation how I want. Then we're gonna turn on motion blur and we have this, pretty solid as is, but we're not done. We're gonna turn motion blur back off. Then we're gonna add the puppet tool, creating a point on the head, the hips, and the feet. This will change depending how your actor moves, but then we will go frame by frame, moving these points to make it seem like the actor's feet are flipping back towards his head more. Once we're happy with that, we again turn on motion blur and it's looking much better. The final thing I did was to add a smoke burst effect at the point of impact to make it all a bit more ridiculous, but that's not a must, just something that I thought was funny. And of course, throw in the punch sound effect, and we have this. Giant hand face punch of doom. And this type of technique can be used for so many different effects as well, and the puppet tool really is an underused gem, so if you haven't given that one much attention, 
do it. So many awesome uses for that thing. But that is it for today. Again, our fight sound effects pack is out now in our store right here. And another reminder to save you money, make sure you use that Film Riot or coupon code Film Riot 30 to get the money savings because I love you. And the music from the promo that we showed you is actually from our music pack, which is coming out next week. And that music was done by the very talented Ben Worley, brother of Seth Worley. This is a crazy talented family. But that is it for today. I'll see you guys next week when I die, but come back as a ghost to help this other dude become a good pilot. <laughs>